Good day, good day everyone and once again we are back together. Alright, we're still looking at those logarithms and this is our second part. If you haven't subscribed, please just make sure you're part of the family. And of course, uh, you can always get in touch with us. Our email address is info at mlungesinkosi.co.za. Alright, so um, we started on the first part of logs. Uh, today I just want to continue with that. Right, just looking at simplifying log expressions. Now, I want to start with this, ladies and gents. That um, so we learned that when we've got uh, say for argument's sake, we've got a uh, log of three over four. So whenever we've got, uh, you know the uh, our indices are uh, divided. In this case, uh, what we do is that we will subtract the logs, right? So this becomes log 3 minus log 4, right? So now, I just want to give a warning, right, uh, as I start, that, but you must also be mindful that uh, the log of 3 divided by log of 4 is something totally different, right? So in this case, why, whilst I took the numbers here and divided them, what we could do is express it as a, uh, we could subtract, uh, in this case, uh, the logs in that case. But this log 3 divided by log 4 remains log 3 over log 4. So if for argument's sake, I were to say to you, suppose we say that log uh, 3 is equal to k. And let's just say the log of 4 would be equal to some value m, right? So if I were to express what we have over there, right? So what I would have, if I express log 3 over 4, in this case, remember we said that's log 3 minus log 4, right? And this in turn would equal to k minus m, right? Okay, because log 3 represents k and log 4 represents m. But if I have log of 3 divided by log of 4, that would remain as k over m. Okay, so notice the difference there in those expressions, right? Now, something else that I want, I want to just uh, let you know about, okay, uh, we can also simplify logs using our rules. And the rule is you must change numbers into prime basis. Okay. So change numbers into prime basis. Okay. Or rather, let me say into prime vectors, right? So if I were to try and simplify, if they were to say to me, okay, so simplify, log of 8 divided by log of 4, right? So let's use our log rules to try and simplify that one, right? So what would I do? In this case, this would be, what is log of 8? Now, I want to change this number into a prime base, right? Okay, so in this case, that would be the log, right? You remember that 8 is 2 exponent 3, right? Uh, remember, 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, divided by, let me do the same with 4, that's 2 squared, right? So can you see that in this case, uh, I've got uh, numbers that are exactly the same. So this would give me, uh, remember the rule, rule number 3 says we jump down, so that's 3 log of 2 divided by 2 log 2. Well, notice what happens, log 2 divided by log 2, those two cancel out, and what I have as a final answer is 3 over 2, right? Um, similarly, I were to do the same, okay, so suppose that uh, I want to simplify, so uh, let's say I've got the log of 3 multiplied by 2. Okay, so remember, uh, what do I do in that case? I can simplify. This simply becomes log of 3 plus the log of 2. So I can't simplify this any further than this unless I'm given something 
about log uh, in this case uh, i mean about log three or log two right um but let's suppose that you had so both of these are prime numbers so there's nothing more that i can do about them but suppose i had something uh, to the tune of log of eight plus the log of 32 okay how can i simplify this into one log right so remember again so log of eight this becomes two exponent three plus the log of now 32 uh, remember we've got two times two which is four times two which is eight times two which is 16 times two which is 32 right so in this case it means that this is two to the exponent five okay right now let's try and add this up so what does this give me it gives me three log two okay plus five log two but again you can see this we've got exactly the same thing over there so this is the same as three uh, plus five so that would be eight log of two okay uh, if you want to you can uh, obviously uh, express it in another way but uh, in this case that is what uh, how the cookie crumbles right all right so i want us to start with this exercise and just have a look at it so uh, it says if log 2 is equal to a and log 3 is equal to b uh, the base is 10 right therefore uh, we need to find uh, all of those so let's be very quick about it okay so i want to just use a different color for the solutions all right uh, so there we go so we've got log 2 and log 3 expressed in in this case as uh, a and b respectively so we need to reduce everything else in terms of that so the first one we're given log of 6 right now how can we represent that in terms of uh, 2 and 3 so this can simply be the log of 2 multiplied by uh, i mean uh, uh, 2 multiplied by 3 remember 2 times 3 would give us 6 so in this case we're using our first law so that would be log of 2 plus log 3 right uh, they did say this is base 10 so i don't need to express that but we did say that log 2 is a and log 3 is b right so the our answer in that case should be a times i mean a plus b right quickly let's go to the next one right uh, they give us log of 9 so how can i represent that in this case remember log 9 so in this case remember we want to we want to change this to a prime base uh, so that's going to be log of 3 squared right so what would that give me that would be 3 log uh, rather 2 log 3 remember we're using our third law it jumps down so that's 2 log of 3 right but we know that log 3 is equal to b so that's going to be 2b and that's how the cookie crumbles right okay let's go to the next one um they give us their log of 8 how do we represent that i'm sure you've got the hang of this by now right so log 8 what does this become it would simply be the log of uh, 2 exponent 3 and so this would be 3 the log of 2 and so in this case we know that log 2 is a so that would be equal to 3a and that is our final answer right that's the most simplified form that we can have right so um let's go to the next one very swiftly right we're going to move very fast to, at this at these right we've got log of 12 so log 12 so how can we uh, convert this into 2 and 3 now remember that 12 can actually be written as 4 multiplied by 3 and i'm using 3 in this case uh, because of course it is one of the numbers that we have right so that's 4 times 3 uh, but in this case we can write this as log of 4 plus the log of 3 so we can still convert this further right 
So therefore, this becomes a uh, log of 2 squared, right, uh, plus log of 3. Okay, so this would be 2 log 2 plus log of 3, but we know that log 2 is A and log 3 is B. So our final answer is 2A plus B. Okay, right. As I said, we'll be moving very swiftly at these, right? So E, um, we've got log of 30, log of 30, okay? Now, if you think about this, now what does this give us? It would give us the log, okay, I know 3 is one of those numbers that we have, but it's going to be 3 multiplied by 10, right? So, this would give me log of 3 plus log of 10. Now, you remember that log 3, in this case, gave us B, right? But now remember, log of 10, what happens with that? So our base is 10. So both the base and the index are the same. So uh, um, uh, we've, we actually get 1 as our final answer, right? So both the base and the number are the same. So we get 1. Okay, so that's B plus 1. All right, so let's go to the next one. Okay, um, we've got for F log 3 over 4 i'm sure you know what to do here log 3 over 4 so what does this give us this gives us log of 3 minus log of 4 that's using our second rule isn't it okay but this will become log of 3 okay minus uh that's going to be log of 2 squared right but we know that log of 2, um, so that's log 3 minus 2 log 2, okay? And so that gives us simply, uh, that's going to be B minus 2 times A. And that's the best uh, expression that we can have, right? Okay, let's go to G very quickly, all right? Um, and of course, in our next uh, session, we're going to be looking at more complex examples um, uh, and thereafter look at log equations. Right, so we've got log 0 0.6. Okay, so how can I express this um, as a, you know, um, uh, you know, with 2 and 3? So if you think about it as a fraction, uh, log of 0 0.6 would be 6 over 10, right? So... What can I do? I can say, well, this is log of 6 minus the log of 10, right? But you remember that log of 6, we said we can express it as uh, log of 2 times 3, right? So that's minus log 10. We already know that's going to be 1. So that's going to be log of 2 plus log of 3 minus log of 10, which is equal to 1. But we know that log 2, that's A, plus log 3, which is B, that's minus 1. And that is our final answer. Right, so let's do H, okay? Um, I'm going to write it over there. Hopefully that's enough space. Um, I've got log of 900, okay? Um, if you want to, you can pause and just try to do it on your own log of 900. I'm sure you've got this by now. So that would be the log of 9 multiplied by a 100. Okay, so what does this become? So that uh, this, this becomes the log of 9 plus the log of 100. Now remember, log of 9, that would be the same as log of 3 squared. Plus, in this case, think about 100. What is it? It's 10 squared, isn't it? So that would give me 3 log 2 plus 2 log of 10. Okay, and please keep this in mind for the future, right? That anything of any time I've got multiples of 10, uh, in this case, remember that 
they would be converted to somewhat of a number right so 3 log 2 uh, sorry that's that's 2 log 3 i made an error there uh, so that's 2 log 3 sorry about that okay so that's 2 log 3 so this would be 2b plus well 2 log of 10 remember log of 10 becomes 1 so that's the same as 2 times 1 and so that simply becomes 2 so that's 2b plus 2 okay right let's go to i quickly right um what does that give us so we've got log of 25 okay so log of 25 so if we look at this again so you can look at this as simply saying um 25 is 5 squared right so that gives us 2 log of 5 but now log of 5 in this case you can say it's 2 plus 3 but it doesn't get us anywhere right so i can say well this is 2 the log of now think about 5 what does 5 become right that becomes 10 over 2 right okay so that becomes 2 log of okay so let me put that in brackets log of 10 minus log of 2 okay so uh, that becomes 2 into remember log of 10 we said that's 1 minus the log of 2 in this case we know that is our a so therefore that becomes uh, 2 times 1 that's 2 and 2 times negative a that becomes minus 2a right uh, if you wanted to do this another way of course you are more than welcome to okay uh, you could have uh, in this case looked at it as the log of now if you think of 25 that would be a hundred over four right so you could have said well that's log 100 uh, minus the log of four as well okay so log 100 so we know that this would have give us, given us rather a 2 log a of uh, 10, right? Minus, again, 4 becomes 2 squared. So that would be 2 log of 2. So again, 2 log 10 would give us 2 minus a log of 2 in this case is a. So that's 2 minus 2a. So whether you prefer going this route or that one there, um, either way we get to the same answer right uh, the next one okay we're taking log of 2 plus 8 okay um, so uh, so we've just finished i so that's j log of 2 or rather log of 2 plus 8 all right just a warning please again do not make the mistake of multiplying by the log or whatever so in this case um it's when we multiply that we change into addition and not the other way around right so what does this become it simply becomes log of 10 right and so log of 10 would just simply be equal to one we don't need to uh, have any rocket science about that one right okay so um that's our k i believe all right and i would strongly advise at this point ladies and gents try to do the questions on your own all right so both k and l and uh, try to do them on your own and see how far you get with that right log of 4 divided by log 9 so we've got log of 4 divided by log of 9 right so what does this become well this gives us a uh, log of 2 squared divided by the log of 3 squared and so what does that become it becomes 2 log 2 divided by 2 log 3 right so this will become well the twos can actually cancel out and so you've got log 2 divided by log 3 which will be a over b right 
and the last one ladies and gents okay so you've got there um all right log three divided by log 40 right log three divided by log of 40 now please again i ask you do not make the mistake of saying this is log three minus log 40 that is not true right that is not true so in this case we're going to work with them separately right so we've got log 3 at the top we know that already becomes b but what is log 40 we'll say well log of 40 is 4 multiplied by 10 and so in our denominator we've got log of uh, well at the numerator i've got log 3 but in our denominator we've got log of 4 plus log of 10 right and so what does this become remember that log 4 becomes 2 squared right and log 2 squared that becomes a uh, 2 log 2 so that's log of 3 divided by 2 log 2 plus log of 10 our base is 10 in this case so that becomes 1 okay so what does this become it becomes b divided by 2a plus 1. I hope that makes sense, ladies and gents. All right. Uh, I want you to try the following out on your own. Okay, we went all the way until L. Uh, you'll try this one. Um, so let's have log of 16 over log of 8. And try this one which is going to be log of 10 exponent a b right um i think i want to leave it there all right okay so please tell me what you get as your final answers and ladies and gents what we're going to be doing is simplifying again uh, more complex uh, log expressions when we meet again otherwise from me for now I'll see you guys again next time. Please don't forget to subscribe and like. And of course, hey, just give your favorite uncle a shout out on, on the comment section. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys next time. Shop, shop.